Hey, everybody, it's Pete. Good morning and welcome to a new episode of Stocks for Breakfast. Today, we're going to discuss something very interesting, and it is an affliction <laughs> that hits every trader, myself included, sometimes a lot less these days as I uh, have a little bit more experience. Um, and that's the desire to trade all the time. Uh, I, I can tell you flat out, you know, we get a lot of questions in the boot camp um, about uh, like, what's the secret? What's like the biggest thing uh, that's going to instantly turn my trading around? And I think it's a good question, quite honestly. It's really what we all want, right? Just tell me the one thing. <laughs> Give me the one thing I need to know. And here it is. How's that for a buildup? <laughs> the biggest thing to learn in trading is I'll actually give two things, but I'm going to give context first before I actually give you the answer. The first one is that it's easy to make money when it's obvious. And I don't think anybody can doubt that at all. We actually had our coaching call last night. If you happen to be in the boot camp watching this right now, um, we did have some questions about when, when is the perfect time to learn how to trade or is right now the right time to learn how to trade? And that question was actually asked mid August of this year, which is 2020. And <laughs> it was because somebody was actually having a problem uh, making money on that particular day, but completely ignoring the fact that basically the market was in a vertical trend uh, from July 1st through probably the first week of September, where there was really no pullbacks. We actually made a comment that the SPY ETF did not have more than one day in nine weeks <laughs> where it closed below the open. So it did not have consecutive red days for nine weeks. That's the most amazing mark. That's the most amazing environment to be making money as you could possibly imagine. Um, the second part is kind of getting into what we're talking about right now. And this is really the, in my opinion, the key, the secret, the holy grail of trading. And that's when you realize that during tougher conditions. So if we can all agree that it's easier to make money when it's obvious, and yeah, I should say easy, 100% it's easy. Uh, and that was proved, by the way, during the boot camp during July and August, um, when we took advantage of what was available. And I'm gonna to touch on that in, in a minute. Um, and, and the long-term effect of taking advantage of what's obvious. So here's the secret. <laughs> I know I keep beating around the bush, but here's the secret. The secret to trading is, if you can accept the fact that it's easy to make money when it's obvious, it's imperative that you also accept the opposite of that, which is that it's challenging to make money when it's not obvious. And here's the key, okay? Here's the key. If it's not obvious, it's imperative that if you take trades with a lower argument, and we actually had a really good comment by one of our community members, Lynn, last night in our group coaching call, um, Lynn basically said, here, here's what he said. He said that I am looking for evidence of this idea. And that's a big thing that we teach in the boot camp. It's a huge thing that I, I learned and grew while I had my trading firms in New York City, which is there's not just one reason to place a trade. There's, there's, there needs to be a preponderance of evidence, as one of my mentors used to say, uh, to build an argument for a trade. So I'm constantly Build an argument. Give me more than just it found support. Give me more than just to see an entry signal. Give me all of the reasons that you should get in there and accept risk. When you get market conditions like we have right now, where we, we sold off, we're a little bit choppy, the daily charts uh, are mixed from the weekly charts or we are mixed from the monthly charts. We don't have this perfect nirvana of everything is green and making new highs every day. So now, now it's a thinking trader's market right now. Now you got to really put the pieces together and decide even if you want to trade. So I'm holding out on the secret here. <laughs> I'm going to get to it in a second. So now you have these mixture of time frames, and, and if it's not perfect conditions like we had for all of July and August, what do you do? Well, it's imperative that you adjust your share size. It's imperative that you work your initial entries. It's imperative that you really are super picky because the market is not going to, the market's not going to um, fix mistakes of bad ideas where every, everything's going up every day. It doesn't matter, which to me, sounds like the dot-com boom again when I first began trading. So here's the secret. Here is the secret. So again, I'm going to get back to it again. And I'm telling you right now, this is probably one of the most important videos I think I've ever done. That's the importance of how much I'm going to give this to you right now. If you can accept the fact that it's easy to make money when it's obvious, then the very opposite must be true, that all of those trades that you make 
when it's not obvious because you're bored, because you want action, because you logged into a community and everybody's excited and, and, and I get that. But all of those trades that you make when it's not obvious are the reason you're not getting paid. Let that sink in for a second because I mentioned this to Matt in our community last week. And when it really sinks in, it's an epiphany. It's a revelation. It's, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that before? Because it's so true. And think about it. And this is why during the boot camp, my number one job is first to help keep you safe, keep you away from bad ideas, to first show you what great ideas look like. And then walk you through using my experience, saying today's conditions are really good. Let's push it a little bit. Today's conditions are a little, ah, okay. These stocks on this particular moment and this particular day or hour are really good ideas. Let's hammer these, this condition while it's good. You can get in there with a little more size, maybe more positions, hold those trades a little longer. And then there's other situations where I'm giving you my experience and I'm telling you right now it's not that great. Maybe these one or two stocks we can get in, but we're only trading on this, 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 and this. The argument is there, but it's not as strong. Or, ah, I'm not seeing anything in the market internals right now and I'm in cash. I'm literally telling you that right now the conditions from either hour to hour if you're day trading or, or day to day or week to week uh, if you're swing trading, I'm literally telling you the conditions are lower and I'm choosing not to throw money away. I'm choosing not to trade because the edge is lower. The argument is weaker. So let's get back to the holy grail. If we can agree that it's easy to make money when it's obvious, which we've proved beyond a shadow of a doubt, July and August, the opposite must be true. And that if it's challenging to make money when it's not obvious, which by its very definition, you're saying it's not a good idea. When you take trades, when it's not obvious, when you aggressively trade, when you blow your stop losses, especially, but let's just stick with when you trade, when it's not obvious, when you hope a position moves in your favor, when you're looking to place a trade because the market's open, because you're in our community, um, because you're a trader and that's what traders do. When you take those trades, when it's not obvious, when you take those trades, when the tape has clearly changed, when you take those trades where it might, actually it's something we talked about yesterday, when it was clearly a buy signal, but the reward potential wasn't there. So I'll give you an example. Uber now has gone up five days in a row, had some news, but that's the most the stock normally does. So it might still be a buy setup, but it's not a good trade because the reward potential is not there. When you take trades that are not your ideal scenario, those trades are the reasons you don't get paid because then when it's obvious, you're just getting back to break even. So if you're an experienced trader right now or have a lot of time at the screen where you've been trading a long time and you just can't seem to figure out why can't I get paid? It's number one, you either don't have an edge, which I'll give you mine if you're in the boot camp. Number two is you're taking too many trades that don't match that edge and you think you're gonna trade your way out of a bad idea. And here's what you normally do. You'll put on trades that has less shares in a bad idea, justifying the trade because you have less shares. Well, I'm not gonna lose that much more because I have less shares on this bad idea. It's still a crappy idea. <laughs> less shares doesn't make it a better idea. It just means you're gonna lose less on that bad idea. <laughs> So I, want to, I just want to drill this home because it's probably the most critical thing I can tell you other than giving you my edge. My edge is obviously order flow and then I mold you into learning how to be a tape reader. And tape reading is setting up good trade ideas within the context of order flow. So once you get to that point and you understand what you're looking at, now it's really a question of fine tuning your entries and determining reward potential. If you still place trades with bad entries or poor reward potential for the risk, that's the reason you're not getting paid. So if you're working with me in the boot camp or if you're working on your own, it really comes down to you need to accept the fact that it's easy to make money when it's obvious and the reason you're not getting paid is you take too many trades when it's not obvious. Watch this video a couple of times, it's pretty deep, but I'm telling you for a fact, once you get it, everything changes and you no longer feel anxious. You have super discipline to not take those garbage trades and you literally say to yourself, if I want to get paid today, this month, that's a trade I have to stay away from. Those kind of trades are the reason I'm mediocre. Those kind of trades are the reason that the best I could do is break even. Think about it. This is an important video. Have a great day.